Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to another video regarding this uh, FLC tester that I uh, made a soldering video of. Now, um, it's not working and I uh, am guessing that it might be this inductor. Uh, I messed it up. Um, but it wasn't working before I messed up the inductor too, so no worries. Um, I checked the signal uh, with my oscilloscope and there is uh, a signal going into the uh, microcontroller. But it's not uh, working, it's not doing anything or something. And I'm not sure uh, why, but I am not getting any signal. So, oh, it won't boot now. If I connect an inductor, regular inductor, oh, if it doesn't fly away, to this tester, make sure that I screw it in for completion. And I press the inductance button. You can see that the uh, micro Henry's get displayed um, but it's zero and I don't think that this slash is supposed to be there uh, so there's something wrong with uh, with this thing now this um, tweaker pot is for the um, um, polarity uh, capacitors so for the capacitors that have a polarity uh, I already trimmed it and uh, watch the result of the trim and that was only the uh, signal changing when you enter in capacity mode like this um, maybe I can tweak it since I'm not going to do anything else with it not sure if in this setting is going to do anything no, only any other setting then. Uh, so it's not working. I got a full refund of this thing. Um, and I uh, touched up some of the soldering points as well. Didn't work, didn't fix the problem. So it's, uh, it's not dead because it boots up and it shows things. But it's definitely not um, measuring inductance and this capacitance um, meter is also not working for um, uh, capacitors that don't have a polarity um, and the frequency is yeah at this I think this is working because if I remove it it drops down and if I put it back it, you know the frequency isn't it, it's, it's all over the place. It flies around like a complete uh, madman. So, I went on AliExpress and this is what came out of it. So let's open it and see what's inside it. I'm very, very, very happy to finally see this arrive. And uh, I'm excited to test it out since I uh, want such a meter for a very long time. And this one requires no soldering. Um, so nice little pop meter or uh, yeah it's oh it's um how do you call that shit I forgot the name uh yeah so uh, i'm not sure if i can just put 9 or 12 volts onto it so i'm going to do a quick on the express loop <coughs> so it can be powered with a 12 volt um Supply. Now the funny thing is that this costs me $10 on Banggood and this 
with a, a LCD uh, and a very nice, well it's packaged very well actually, costs me around six and a half euros. So, yeah, you know, I, yeah, let's just power it up. It already looks better. LED. Battery 12 volts, okay. It's no battery. No or unknown damaged part. No, that's that. That's okay. Testing. Uh. Hey, there you go. No, I. Oh, I. Oh, hey. Look, you can see the. Um, I think that these are the pins that you need to connect your component to. So let's connect them to. Two and three, I suppose, and it's it's written down. And let's focus again. It's written down in here. You can see it right there. Put the light on the right angle. Yeah, right there. It's written down. So this, I think, this goes in three. So let's put it in three and let's clamp it down. Um, I knew that I was almost out of MOSFETs um, and I ordered new ones, but they didn't arrive yet. So let's check it. A MOSFET. Oh, this is really, really nice. This is really nice. Now I never have to guess what the, the gate, the drain and the source is. It's shown right here. This is lovely. All right. Um, I'm sure that we haven't had all the components that this thing uh, is able to test. But I think that we had enough. Oh, uh, one more thing I'd like to test. Well, that was it for experimentation time. I'm now... Um, Going on the interwebs to see if I can find a um, model on Thingiverse uh, that I can put in enclosure uh, to check if we can protect this a little bit better. Because this is a, a very nice device and I completely recommend buying it. Uh, also, with the uh, it is a removable screen. Also with the removable screen. And this is basically just an Arduino. It's the Atmega 328P. And I think I have seen this LCD module before. But I'm not sure where... Oh, there's one more thing we need to test. And for that, we need the oscilloscope. Go into the menu. Timeout. What timeout? Selection. Because there is a frequency generator. Oh. 
seconds measuring frequency now. Frequency 10 bits BWM. Let's get a probe. Then with PWM, I guess that's on this. Ooh. Um, I don't think that that was a ground connection, or I'm not hoping, because it did look very nice on the scope. And let's put a proper grounding lead into here. I'll show you the scope in a minute. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. So now we can. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Switch range. Oh no, no, no. I want to switch range. Exactly. What's. Oh. I think that's the error correction or the, the error amount. How high can it go? R? Ooh, damn. Yeah, that's the error. Yeah, wait. Um, wait, I'm going to use my phone to record this. I think that's a better idea. My lens is a little bit good. Oh. So as you can see right there, the frequency is 307 kilohertz, and well, we've uh, set the frequency of the generator to 300 kilohertz, and the, at the bottom it shows plus uh, 7,066, 661 hertz, and that's roughly that number I think, because if I I do this with one hand lower the oh. yes now I need to now I need to increase the time per division Oh, this is a little bit too much. I think this is fine. We can see a sub 10 hertz signal. And that's great because it's a 9 hertz signal. 
that's add one digit, put it on 20 hertz. 20 hertz. Let's put it on something that it shows. Oh. One on zero and all right, point seven five hertz. So this is three uh, thousand hertz. So damn, that's accurate. The offset is 0.79 hertz. This is really accurate because it shows 0.75 and it actually is 0.95. And if we increase the or decrease the time per division, you can see that it's a pretty darn clean signal and with a peak to peak of roughly. 3.3 .3 volts, I think. Measure on peak to peak. Yeah, yeah, it's 3.3 .3 or something like that. Oh, well, that's a uh, nice, uh, nice volts. But it's cool that it's uh, it shows the um, the uh, error. That's really nice. That's really really nice. Now, um, I'm going to stop my phone. I'm going to try, I think that that is the uh, signal input. Uh, yeah, of course, I've got my signal generator. So let's grab that. that this needs another power supply and about to say I was about to say that I lo tr lost track of uh, where it was but then I find it found it find it find it come on there's stupid protection inside this uh, socket and it is annoying me very much. Lo, I just switched. Now I removed the power supply of that. I'm plugging the. Wow, there's a huge capacitor inside the power supply block. I can hear it make this noise. Now, a viewer of me. Pointed me on on uh, something very interesting. I was rotating the knobs, and I was noticing that the uh, the offset and the amplitude uh, didn't do anything. And I was asking why, and I couldn't figure it out. And he just said, well, your scope 
S N um, the wrong mode. It's in AC and it should be in DC mode. And right now I'm trying, but the zero still stays the same. And it's the upper part that moves. So this is no this uh, this is not working I'm on a square wave of something like that and let's grab and well, let's screw this in I hope it doesn't have any effect on the signal and let me lower my peak to peak oh it's already down low and swap connectors now i'm uh right now i'm using a bnc to bnc to connect it to my probe um but i also think that there is no external load on the thing and um that that could cause some problems of the device not being properly uh, held down or something or proper be, properly being loaded and the signal not coming out clean so let me attach the the probe again to here Cam loose. So there should be a square wave on it. But I can't find it. Um, yeah, let's try to measure it. Frequency. Frequency. I think it has got something to do with the fact that we're loading it on the... I thought easy hack, but no, Murphy has to make it difficult for me. I use a jumper wire. Well, this isn't a clean signal at all, and I literally mean at all. I've got it on my scope and it looks like absolute rubbish. Now I need to be careful with this thing because <coughs> the output uh, voltage of it uh, of the thing can reach uh, uh, 14 volts. 
and that's way too high for this thing sine wave <clears throat> now I'm also going to ask my uh, cash back on this because I'm not sure what it's showing but if I put tension on the board sometimes it's showing the uh, correct signal let me No, <clears throat> my uh, signal generator is also dead, uh, or dead, it isn't doing its job as I expect it to do, so I'm sorry Banggood, but you're delivering absolute rubbish, um, this, uh, yeah, the whole time actually, for the last couple of months. Uh, everything that I ordered uh, from Banggood um, was broken, didn't work. I mean, look, this is broken, it, it fell in there. And here at the corner, it's broken. And uh, yeah, it, it it doesn't work, this. it I don't know what it generates, but it's not a, a clean sine wave or a, uh, a clean uh, square wave or anything. It's a complete rubbish. It's it's amazing how you can uh, still mess up such a product like this. Um, let's no, not channel three. Check what the high speed is doing. Yeah, that's that's working. This is working. High speed is working. So, right. Give it one more try. Try the high speed. Now, the high speed outputs a frequency of a voltage of five volts. So that should be just enough to not destroy it. Nine hundred kilohertz. All right, this is out of range. Yeah, this is actually in range because it uh, it shows uh, the proper value, four thousand kilohertz. That's uh, around four megahertz. So that works. That's uh, really nice. But then eight megahertz doesn't work. So it's one to all right. Now I know enough. I trust this little thing. It's a very nice uh, thing. I completely recommend it uh, over this one. This looks fun. It's big. It's it's lumpy. The the screen is not that good. I mean, it's basically just an AliExpress module that you can buy uh, for one uh, one dollar, one euro. But this one, this one is good. 
So, I think that um, that's it for this video. Um, it's already been a uh, long day and this is already a uh, quite a long video. One hour and 18 minutes. We just passed the 18 minutes. You know. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you around in the next video. Uh, if you know, uh, please tell me why I can't measure uh, the, I think this is an inductor, so correct me if I'm wrong. And please, if you know, tell me why I can't measure this with this, because this in my mind is an inductor and this is able to measure inductance. Uh, but I think I'm wrong, otherwise it would have measured uh, it correctly. So, yeah, uh, I will put a link to the uh, item in, uh, in the description, so you can purchase it if you want. And yeah, like I said, I hope to see you around on my channel very soon. Bye! Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time!